wanted to do a real quick uh, discussion on grind settings because we think that would be useful. Unfortunately, today Ian was unable to make it, but we were able to bring his hand into the picture. So uh, there's mm -hmm. his hand right there. So uh, Ian couldn't make it, but thank you, Hand, for showing us. Ian's voice is also here as well, ironically enough. What a um, yeah, so poor Ian. Uh, but thank you, voice and hand. So I should be go fine. for it. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, just chat a little bit about uh, different grind settings and just to share some, some thoughts on grind setting with you guys. Um, so I have lined up a few piles of, of coffee that I've ground, um, that I've ground specifically for each brew method that we, um, that we have some tutorial videos about. Um, so starting with this first little pile here, I've got a nice little mound of coffee that um, I ground this for our Kalita Wave. Um, so on our Baratza grinder, that was at a setting of uh, number 13. And you can see that it's um, a fairly fine texture, kind of like, uh, like a raw cane sugar or kind of uh, maybe a little bit finer than kosher salt, not quite as fine as like a fine sea salt, um, but somewhere in between there. And if you kind of pinch that, it feels a little bit sandy, um, but it's, there's not really any big particles in that, in that grind setting. And that should be just about right <clears throat> for using with our Kalita Wave. All right, so moving down the line, um, this next pile <clears throat> is coffee that I ground for the Bee House. And almost the same grind setting, um, just maybe one or two clicks finer than the Kalita Wave. So this was ground on the Encore at about 11 or 12. And it's very similar texture, um, kind of in that sandy feeling, uh, kind of like raw sugar or, well, finer than raw sugar, kind of like a sea salt, something like that. Not as coarse as a kosher salt is gonna be. And what's, what's really important is that um, if you see, if you look at this, you can really see how, um, how high quality this Baratza grinder is. Um, you don't really see any large chunks. You don't see much uh, as far as fine sand goes. Uh, it's a pretty uniform result. All right, so this next little pile of grounds, I uh, ground for the Chemex. And this one is a slightly coarser grind. Um, on the Baratza, it's more in the range of um, like 16 to 18, so a few clicks coarser. And if you look at it, you can see a little bit larger particle size, um, kind of some um, more, more pebbly sized pieces. Um, definitely closer to our kosher salt um, imagery, um, a little bit coarser. And if I kind of pick it up and, and uh, pinch it, it feels a little bit larger in the hand. I can feel those larger, kind of sandier pieces. All right, so here we have a little pile that I ground for the V60. And this is nearly identical to the grind setting I used on the Bee House. Um, so on the Baratza, this is about an 11. And it has that nice, um, even texture, not too sandy. There's no extra large pieces, um, just good smooth texture kind of in that kind of sea salt range as far as particle size goes. And this final little pile here I have uh, was ground for a French press. And you can see it's a much coarser grind. Uh, this was done at about a 24 on the Encore. Much larger particle size. Um, definitely uh, coarser than kosher salt and much sandier feeling if I pick it up and uh, kind of pinch it. Um, so that's definitely going to be more what you want to use for a French press. Now these are all just kind of a good starting place um, as you experiment at home with, um, with really dialing in your pour overs and trying to get the best cup possible. <clears throat> and um, always kind of play with your grind setting and uh, this is kind of a good starting place. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks Ian's hand. Anytime.